Hey guys, this is Alan with the Grilling Network. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make uh, a planked turkey breast. Alright, one of my favorite cedar planks to use are those from Nature's Choice. Uh, Larry um, was kind enough to uh, pre-drill these holes for me and the purpose of that is for you to um, put seasonings in there and what we're going to do is I'm going to take some garlic cloves, I'm going to mash them and then stuff them in the holes and this will also add an extra flavoring for when I'm cooking the turkey. Welcome back guys. What we're going to do now is I'm going to inject the uh, turkey breast with a uh, Creole garlic butter uh, injector and you want to do this every uh, square inch so just poke it in and as you're injecting kind of jiggle it and pull out. So again just push it in and oops. And the turkey just plumps right up. Okay guys, I went ahead and finished injecting the turkey and we're gonna go ahead and apply a just a basic uh, dry rub on it. I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit over that just to get add a little bit of a flavor. Nothing too much. And what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and chop up the garlic and prep the plank. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, the cedar plank that I have here, I've been pre-soaking it for about two hours now. Um, this will allow the cooking process of it to go much smoother. Uh, we're going to go ahead and prep the plank by taking these garlic cloves and just, you know, take a knife and take the butt of it and just flatten it and then it makes actually a paste, like you see here. I uh, don't know if I can do that or see it that well, but I'm just going to go ahead and chop it up a little bit. And then just take this right here and just push it into the hole of the plank. I'm going to go ahead and finish this up and we'll meet you on the grill. Alright guys, welcome back. Uh, we're outside at the grill. I preheated the grill for 350 degrees. I'm going to go ahead and prep the plank and what you want to do is you want to take the smooth side which is the one that has the holes on it and you want to put it face down for about five minutes. This kills any kind of bacteria that may be growing on the, the cedar. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Again, just let it cook for about five minutes. You'll hear it pop, that's okay. Um, we'll check back then and we'll flip it over and we'll go ahead and lay the turkey breast on top. Alright guys, we've been cooking for about an hour now. Um, it's got a nice golden brown. I can smell the cedar. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take it inside and we're going to let it rest for a while. I'm gonna actually going to wrap it in aluminum foil and let it rest for about a half an hour to an hour and then that way all the juices permeate back throughout the meat and we'll see you back inside. Alright guys, welcome back. I've uh, just finished unwrapping the aluminum foil on this turkey breast. It was wrapped for about an hour and it is still extremely warm. Uh, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to slice this up in thin slices um, using a sharp knife and um, this is going to be used for sandwiches for lunch for next week but let's go ahead and slice this bit. I mean this is still juicy this you know, let the knife do the cooking, cutting, sorry. But look at that, you can still see the juices in that. Let me just try that out. Mm. It's very moist. I'm going to love this on my sandwiches. And again, guys, um, you can always prepare turkey or any other meats in different ways. Uh, planking is just another way, and it's something that I've Love doing it and fell in love with it. So until next time, it's good cooking.